Kabuki blush. I swear. Kabuki brush, not blush. What? What is wrong with me today? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys can see from the title today, I am super, super, super excited because. I finally got my mink brushes from the mail from shopmissa.com. For those of you guys that don't know what shopmissa is, it's basically an online store that every single thing that they have on there is a dollar. Like that is still mind boggling to me. Like that is just awesome. And mind you, I've been shopping on this website on and off for years now and it still hasn't changed. So kudos to you guys for not upping your prices. Before I get into the video, all the specs and me wearing the brushes, well not wearing the brushes, but me basically demoing the brushes, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to me so you can see my face more often and I can make you laugh, I can make you smile, all that fun stuff. But yeah, let's get into it. And I wanted to give a big shout out to It's Me CC here on YouTube. She's actually the one that originally gave me the idea to get these brushes. I honestly didn't even know that Shot Missy had mink brushes. Like I already had their 20 piece brush set. As you guys can see, like I've been using like these type of brushes. Let me see if I can find another one. Two hours later. Like these, like these are all, like these brushes are from Shot Missy as well. Most of my makeup brushes are tucked away right now just because I am planning on just doing a full face of makeup using only these brushes and maybe like one or two other brushes depending on what I'm going to do. But for the packaging wise, this is what the packaging looks like. So I really do like the way this is set up just because especially like if I'm quick going to go over to my friend's house to sleep over or something like that or like say if you know me and my friends decide to go out and I have to quick pack a bag to do my makeup and whatnot. This just makes it so much easier than just throwing everything in my purse. I really do like the layout of that. So basically it just wraps around and it also has a little logo that says AOA Studios, which I'm not sure exactly how good you guys can see, but that's not really the main focus. But I just wanted to say how cute I do like the packaging. And these are what the brushes look like. Again, I have not used them whatsoever. They're still in the plastic, still in the packaging. So like I did say before earlier, these brushes are $10 each and basically there are 10 brushes that come in this set. So I only have to pay $10. Now I believe they offer you free shipping if you spend more than $35, but since I didn't do that, I think I spent maybe like four or $5 on shipping. Definitely I'll put that down below in the prices and all that fun stuff for you guys as well. Oh, and I almost forgot, kind of as like an added bonus to my soul, because I'm like, you know what, I'm already shopping there, so might as well pick up something else. I also got the Kabuki brush as well, so that's what that looks like, and that's the packaging that that came in. All right, guys, so I'm just going to quick go over exactly what the brushes look like and the numbers and all that other fun stuff. Now, if you guys really don't care for that too much, you just want to skip directly to me actually using the brushes and doing my full face. You can skip to this timestamp right here if you want to and then I'll also make sure to put that in in the description box below. I just like being really thorough when it comes to me doing reviews, I'm just saying, but some people don't care about that, some people just care about the makeup. But yeah, just wanted to throw that in there for you guys. So the first brush that I have in my hand is going to be the E135 brush. So this is what this looks like, so it's basically like a regular flat eyeshadow brush now this one is 136 and this is basically more rounded at the top but it is also a tad bit flat so that's what that one looks like this is what 137 looks like this one is a bit flatter than 136 i feel like 136 is a little bit more rounder and then also as you guys can see like the end of it is a little bit more like circle shaped 138 is kind of like a slanted brush which i really like using i don't even use these type of brushes when i do my eyeshadow i honestly just use these for when i contour my nose so that's what i'm planning on doing with this one and last but not least 139 and that's basically a flat brush that basically i would like for me i would use this brush to do my lid when I was about to say, my lighting needs to get it together. But anyways, I would basically use this last brush to basically put eyeshadow on my lids. Alright, so this is the F21 brush. So as you guys can see, it's just a very fat, fluffy. It kind of looks a little bit flat though for a fluffy brush, but I don't mind it. Now this is the F22 brush. As you guys can see, it is slanted. So for this brush, I would actually use this to do my contour. 
Now this brush is the F23 brush. Now I would definitely use this brush to blend in my foundation and help buff it in. So this is F24 and this one seems a little bit, this basically looks exactly the same as the first brush except it's a lot smaller. And for me, I would actually use this blush, <laughs> I would use this brush to apply my blush if I was, well, I am going to be using it, but you guys know what I mean. So there's that one. And then last but not least, this is the F25 brush. Now with this brush right here, I will definitely say I'm the most excited about just because I was looking for a brush that was basically built like this just because I feel like with my other highlighter brushes, it's not as like it's not as dense as I want it to be like I feel like I have to put a million and one layers on so I'm really excited about this one oh I look like a hot mess all right so as you guys can see I already primed my lids and all that fun stuff because first and foremost we're going to be going into eyeshadow I'm part of the I'm on the side where you do your eyeshadow first and then the rest of your face makeup that's just my personal opinion I feel like it just works the best for me and it's also the most easiest and most convenient but yeah anywho so this eyeshadow look might be all over the place a few moments later i don't know i feel like that brown color really jacked up the look that i was going for all right guys so long story short the first eyeshadow look that i tried to do ended up turning into a absolute hot mess so i quick went off camera to try to experiment some more and then this is the eyeshadow look that i came up with now i did use four of the eyeshadow brushes the only brush i did not use was the 138 which is the slanted one just because like i mentioned earlier in the video i am planning on using this to contour my nose so basically i'm just gonna quick show you guys how i got this particular eyeshadow look so it's basically gonna be like an instagram type style and then i'm just gonna jump back on camera to show you guys how i do my face and then i'm pretty much gonna wrap up the video and all that good fun stuff Alright guys, so I already prepped and primed my face. Finally, we're getting onto the face after the eyeshadow disaster that I just experienced. But basically, long story short, I used the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer, which is this product right here. And if you guys wanted any additional information on this primer, I actually did do a review on this a couple, I would say this was maybe like a week or two ago, but I'll definitely leave the link up there if you guys want additional information. But basically, I just waited until the primer was tacky, and now I'm going to apply my foundation. So the foundation I'm just going to be using in this video is the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. And then I'm just going to be using the and then I'm just going to be going in with the F23 brush which is this flat foundation brush here and I'm basically just going to use that to buff the foundation into my skin so I feel like when it came to buffing in my foundation and did do a pretty good job I don't know like it's very like it's not as dense as I don't know I was like because okay I'm trying to find my words like with the Juno and Co foundation brush it's a lot more dense and thicker so I guess like in my mind I thought it was gonna be like that but it's not but it's not technically a bad thing I feel like it's all about personal preference like if you want a foundation brush that's shaped like this but more dense and not super oh excuse me and it, <laughs> and it's not super like Eh, eh, eh. then this might not be the brush for you but i honestly like it like it's not bad it's just again like it kind of caught me off guard with how like movable it was but what i'm also gonna do is i'm gonna be using my micro vibrant micro i'm gonna be using my micro fiber velvet sponge i don't know why i always struggle 
to pronounce that like that is freaking crazy like i'm not in kindergarten goodness all right guys so long story short if you want to see exactly all of the products that i will that i use to do this exact makeup look i will be posting an instagram video if you guys wanted to know all the details but again because this video is mainly focused on the brushes itself i'm skipping around a lot so i already did my concealer and i already set my concealer now i'm going to go into contouring my face and i will be using so i will be using the f22 brush and i'm basically just going to use that to contour my face minus my nose so for my nose obviously this is too big and we don't want my nose looking like a complete hot mess so i'm just basically just going to be dipping into the cover fix perfecter face palette like i always do and i'm going to be using that contour shade right here as you guys can see and i'm just basically just going to be using because i like how it's angled so it's really good at like getting like and like the crevice of your cheek like that so that's basically what i'm going to do so i'm just going to get a little bit of powder and then just swipe this on my face Guys, I think, ooh, almost dropped my phone. I think I found my new contour brush. Like, oh, little side note, I whenever I wear wigs, I never contour my forehead just because I feel like there's never a need to. Quick little side note. But yeah, like, I feel as though I love the way, A, okay, let me just say this. All the brushes are extremely soft. Let me just say that. All the brushes are extremely soft. I feel as though a lot of these brushes are really, really, really good quality. So for all the ones that I have used so far, I can definitely say, so far, these are definitely banging. So yeah, like I said before, I definitely do feel as though this is going to be like the new brush that I'm going to contour with. Because like, it just looks so nice and just airbrush. And again, it wasn't like... I was struggling to have it be in one place it was just one even swoop and it I will definitely say if not any like out of all the brushes so far this is probably my favorite one just because my contour just turned out so good and just so effortless and before I forget because most of the time I actually forget to contour my nose and that's not good but I'm just gonna be using the 138 brush from the eyeshadow brushes and I'm just gonna lightly pat it on both sides just so it's kind of even and then just go in and do my nose okay so next I'm just gonna be dipping into the Wander Beauty Dust Till Dawn blush and highlighter palette I swear this is like basically the only blush that I own at this point but I'm basically just gonna be using that middle color Havana night and I am going to be using the f24 brush to basically pack well not pack but basically just pat it lightly that blush onto my cheek I just realized I never set the rest of my face Damn. it's fine this is this look is savable because basically the only thing I I basically did everything minus the blush like that's usually what I do so I, I think I should be fine so to switch it up a little bit I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose finishing powder to set the rest of my face I actually haven't used this powder in a little while so let me give it some love and I'm just gonna be going into the Kabuki blush kabuki blush i swear kabuki brush not blush brush what is wrong with me today anyway so i'm basically just gonna use this brush to put that powder on the rest of my face to help set it okay so it's not that bad the brush still looks halfway decent the blush blush brush i swear blush and brush can be so difficult for me to pronounce and i don't know why not pronounce but like i always mix it up but anyway so there's that so i made sure i did that part i would have been so tight if my makeup was done and i didn't do that but yeah so there's that and then i'm just gonna be dipping into the cover fix palette again and i'm just going to be using 
this nice pink high highlighter color here so I, depending on how pigmented this highlighter is I might go in with the brightener as well we will see and I'm going to be using the F25 brush now like I mentioned earlier in the video I'm super excited because I've been looking for a denser highlighter brush like this so I'm keeping my fingers crossed So far so good because I don't like having a blinding highlight like as long as you know what's there that's the most important part so I really like how boom 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 that contour blush highlight combo is looking all right guys so that pretty much sums up this makeup look so looking back and like not even looking back but just thinking the only brush that I did not use was the F 21 brush and the reason why I didn't use this brush is just because I use a kabuki brush instead So it's like I feel as though I would have used it for the same thing But definitely I would highly 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 Recommend for you guys to try out these brushes especially if a you're a beginner at doing makeup or b You're just really really like tight with money, but you want to get into makeup because again ten dollars for ten brushes That's extremely good and you basically have your foundation like you don't need 10 15 different brushes to do different eyeshadow looks highly recommend to get this again the face brushes you I, I honestly I feel as though if I if God forbid something happened and all my other makeup brushes were to somehow disappear get damaged catch on fire fall in the toilet whatever I would be able to just do my makeup with just these 10 brushes alone honestly so I would highly recommend them thank you so much again to it's me CC for recommending me to get these brushes as again I haven't been on shop miss a in a grip like the last time I shopped from them was probably my last shop miss a review video which was like a couple months ago but yeah so again I'm very 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 happy with these you guys need to go out and buy these brushes like for real for real like these brushes are good like look how my makeup turned out and granted like I use basically the exact same makeup that I always use so it's not even like oh it's the makeup that made it look good like nah like just overall these brushes are really nice again as you guys can see my eyeshadow turned out perfectly fine and yeah again like I said before I'm definitely gonna be using these brushes I'm definitely gonna be contributing these blushes into my everyday makeup routine and also when I film videos and all that fun stuff but yeah so hopefully you guys liked the video I know it was a bit of a long one but I wanted to make sure I was able to actually thoroughly show you guys how the brushes act and how they cooperate and how again you don't really need to have any other brushes if you really don't want to like these this is like your basic starter kit like all you would technically need to do your makeup especially if you're not into makeup all like that and doing it like every day like you would just need this but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to check out some of my other videos as well don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and also leave your comments on your thoughts on this current makeup look here and then also overall with the brushes have you guys had these brushes before are you thinking about getting them now that you've watched my video are you actually going to go out and get them all that fun stuff but yeah so thank you guys so much again for watching and i will definitely see you guys in my next one dang did i take three minutes to do the outro oh my gosh i'm bugging this is like a really cute like pinky color